Hey guys, welcome to Lake Stevens Auto Detailing. Today we've got this 2016 Subaru Outback. Uh, condition's not too bad. It's got some bug guts and some splatter on the wheels and tires. Um, outside's not too bad. And same with the inside. It was sitting for a while, so it does have um, a little bit of moss algae buildup around some of the trim panels. So we'll have to pay a little extra attention on that. Getting those blasted clean and making sure everything's uh, nice and shiny. Uh, we're also going to do the engine bay detail. It's pretty dusty, but it's not uh, terrible. I've seen worse. Um, so we'll give that a quick scrub, get that all cleaned up. The trunk's got a little bit of uh, <clears throat> buildup on the mat, and the uh, trunk jam's pretty dirty. But beside that, the rest of the vehicle's uh, overall in pretty good shape. So. We'll just get everything detailed up, and the uh, yeah, the gas uh, jam's not too bad. Usually those are fairly neglected and pretty dirty, but this one wasn't very bad. Uh, they did transport a small little dog, so they got a little carrier thing, uh, but there's not a whole lot of hair. So we'll just get everything uh, spiffed up and get it nice and shiny clean. As always, in the video description below, I've got um, plenty of detailing affiliate links um, for Amazon. Uh, if you buy any detailing supplies, feel free to use those links. It doesn't cost you any extra money, and it helps support the channel a little bit. Uh, speaking of, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and liking the video so you don't miss any future videos that we got coming up here. trunk mat overall is in pretty remarkable uh, condition so I'm just going to give it a quick pressure wash get any stuck on gunk off of there and then give it a scrub with my wheel woolly and uh, so just some soap and water I'll drill brush agitate um, any areas that look like they need it and then we'll just pressure wash it off and let it dry in the sun it was a pretty sunny day so this will dry off those all weather mats uh, pretty quickly here with door jams and trunk jams, usually I like to uh, pressure wash them first before I start scrubbing them. But uh, certain times when there's limited access and the jams are a little small, like on the um, upper part, the jam's pretty uh, small and the headliner is a light color. I just want to blast water and grit all over and stain the headliner. So um, sometimes you just got to go with the more time consuming method and get in there with the detail brush or uh, something that's a bit smaller um, just so you can get all that dirt and grit blasted out without making a big old mess so that's what we did here got that nasty trunk jam all cleaned up we're gonna go on to the engine bay and I'm just gonna keep the um, spray wand back a distance so we're not getting too close to any electronics or anything we don't want to cause any problems with uh, sensors or anything and then we'll get in there with the wheel woolly and get in there with some soap and water and just agitate everything uh, I like to start with the upper hood area and the little kind of black insulation and then work my way down that way if I'm dripping in dirty suds and stuff uh, we're not working backwards here so I like to work from top to bottom and then uh, any areas that are obviously dirty that I can't get in there with my wheel brush I'll get in there with my detail brush um, if I need to um, this was mostly just a, kind of a dust layer so I didn't have a whole lot of areas that I need to get into with the um, detail brush but um, there were some 
little areas that uh, needed to be scrubbed with a detail brush and then we'll just uh, lightly rinse it off and uh, if I need to blow off with air and dress it uh, we'll do that. Uh, you'll notice some steam coming off. Uh, the engine was a little warm but it's not hot um, so it's not a problem. I never pressure wash an engine bay when it's hot and uh, I don't want to have any issues uh, with a real hot motor and ice cold water so I always wait uh, usually about 40 minutes until I uh, do an engine bay detail so I'll do something else that uh, keeps me occupied and um, working on the vehicle making money not just sitting around waiting for the car to cool down. Next to move on to the door jams uh, they weren't too bad but we'll give them a light scrub and a rinse and they'll be as good as new so they won't take too long to get all cleaned up. This uh, gas cap jam area wasn't too bad but uh, did need it to get scrubbed out. It's part of the details cleaning that out so we'll get that scrubbed out and rinsed off and it'll be great. These wheels were in um, pretty darn good shape overall. It was the tires that um, had some dirt and a little bit of browning on there so I just used my DIY detail uh, all clean, diluted 15 to 1, and scrubbed the wheels and tires and got them nice and clean and uh, moved on to the next part of the process. I'm using my detail brush and some of the nooks and crannies, just trying to get this thing as clean as we can. I was kind of curious about what that white splatter was on the tires and a little bit on the wheels. Uh, it seemed to come off pretty easy, but I hadn't seen that before, so I was kind of curious as to what that was. If you have any idea, leave a comment down below. When I'm pressure washing the wheels and tires, I always try and get up in the... Um, wheel liners, um, whether they're carpeted or plastic, and just try to blast that crud out um, to get the vehicle looking as nice and clean as we possibly make it. Both the wheels and tires and uh, trunk jam, door jams, and the engine bays all cleaned up. We're going to go and put the uh, foam cannon over the whole vehicle, get any loose dirt uh, knocked loose, and then we'll move on and rinse it off, try to get some of that uh, loose traffic film off of there and then when we go in and foam cannon and go in there with the contact wash uh, we'll be doing minimal damage to the paint because uh, we got a bunch of that uh, dirt off already. Now I'm spending a little extra time around some of the uh, seams of the vehicle uh, trying to get some, um, some of that moss algae build up around the emblems and around uh, <clears throat> the body panel connections and everything uh, window sills and stuff like that, getting that all um, scrub free. And uh, I always start with the roof and then work my way down. And I use the two bucket wash method to uh, keep the wash mitt as clean as possible, even though we did do a preliminary uh, foam cannon and rinse. Uh, this just added protection against scratching. Depending how dirty a car is, uh, I'll do smaller sections and dunk the wash mitt and the uh, buckets more frequently. This car honestly was uh, really clean, uh, so I didn't have to worry about that too much. I just utilized uh, both sides of the wash mitt and then worked my way from top to bottom, and that just worked fine for me. Uh, it wasn't wasn't too dirty, so it wasn't a big deal uh, getting this thing washed up fairly in an uh, expeditious manner. Well, I'm done with the uh, contact wash. Uh, we're going to move on to the uh, synthetic decontamination towel or uh, clay treatment. Uh, we're going to go over all the glass, the uh, headlights, um, any painted surfaces, uh, get any bond contaminants off of the vehicle. Um, it was in pretty good 
pretty good shape, but I uh, went ahead and went over all the glass and painted surfaces just to uh, ensure that any uh, bonded contaminants were removed prior to rinsing and then putting on um, some clear coat protection on this vehicle. So that's just part of one of the exterior detail processes that I always follow. So I'm all done clay toweling it and we'll get this thing rinsed off real quick and then we'll um, be using the DIY detail ceramic gloss which will uh, apply a few month protection onto the paint and keep uh, the hydrophobics going and keep the clear coat protected for a few months here until uh, it gets detailed again. I'm curious what uh, guys, what do you guys prefer to use for a drying towel? Um, I've got a wide assortment of drying towels. I've got some waffle weave towels. I've got some chemical guys, uh, woolly mammoth, um, extra large drying towels. Um, I've got this black one, which is like 30 inches by 51 inches. Uh, so i got a wide assortment of towels that I use to dry the vehicle off. Um, let me know in the comments below what do you prefer using for drying off the vehicle. Do you use a, a blow dryer, a leaf blower, um, or do you just use t a towel typically with a drying aid? This interior was in great shape. Uh, for some reason when I was recording the uh, vacuum part, uh, the file was corrupted and it wouldn't transfer over. So I wasn't able to get any of the vacuum uh, part recorded on here for this video so we're just going straight into the wipe down stage where we get everything wiped down clean and uh, this interior was in pretty great shape overall um, considering most of the vehicles that I get are usually uh, fairly trashed um, and well used this one wasn't in bad condition at all so it won't take very long to get this thing wrapped up here Back seats were in great shape. It looked like they had hardly been used. Um, like I said before, the rear passenger seat um, had a little dog seat on there that was um, that I took out for the detail. But um, beside that, it looked like there hadn't really been anybody sitting in the back. So that definitely cuts down on uh, food crumbs and drink spills and all the typical things that usually uh, you encounter as a detailer uh, cleaning the vehicle. Uh, front area was a little bit more dirty, but it uh, wasn't too bad in the grand scheme of things. Moving on to the front door panels, uh, they were in pretty good shape. Um, this front seats were even uh, looking pretty good. The dash had some dust and stuff on there, and the center console needed a little bit of work. Um, but the seats and the door panels were in great shape, in my opinion. See the driver's seat's in uh, pretty good shape, but we're going to go ahead and scrub everything down, um, get any little crumbs in the cracks knocked out, and just wipe everything uh, nice and clean for the customer. Even though this car was uh, relatively clean, um, we're still going to go through the process knock any dust loose in the cracks and crevices around the steering wheel and uh, I really like using the uh, toothbrush it's um, great for getting in little nooks and crannies that you can't get into otherwise um, and it doesn't blow crud everywhere like a torn door if you use that to blow in the cracks and crevices uh, this vehicle is pretty uh, relatively clean but there were um, still some cracks and areas that uh, needed a little extra detail work and that toothbrush uh, proved to be pretty essential.
Moving on to the glass work, we're just about wrapped up with this detail, but we're going to go ahead and give it a good uh, spray down. I'm using the stoner park here, uh, visible glass, and then uh, I'm using the chemical guys, 16 by 16 yellow microfiber towel, and then I follow up with a uh, waffle weave towel, and that helps eliminate any streaking or any problems uh, getting the window um, a nice uh, clean finish. There is a few smudges and uh, um, nose prints and stuff, uh, but overall, this uh, these windows were in pretty good shape. Uh, we're just making sure that everything is street free and fingerprint free, dog nose print free, and uh, nice and shining for the customer. For the windshield, I spray the uh, glass cleaner directly onto the microfiber towel, then wipe it onto the um, windshield, um, that's just to keep any overspray from blasting down on the dash and gauge cluster and instrument, um, little cluster screen and stuff like that. And uh, that just keeps uh, from making a mess. So for car tires and stuff, I usually like to use a microfiber um, pad that keeps the uh, tire shine on there from slinging onto the wheels and tires and uh, provides a nice finish. For tire shine, I'm using the Meguiar's Hot Shine. I had pretty good success with getting a nice glossy shine out of the tires. Um, if you guys enjoy using this uh, kind of tire shine, let me know in the comments below. Alright, so we're all wrapped up here. Engine bay is looking nice and dust free. It's looking nice and clean. And uh, the outside got a nice shine on the tires. Everything's looking nice and sparkly clean. We don't have any uh, splatter around the wheels and the tires anymore. And uh, all the seams and cracks and everything don't have any little mold or gunk on there. So this thing's looking nice and clean. Providing a quick look inside here. Uh, you can tell the trunk jam first is looking way better than it was. Uh, don't really see any gunk or buildup on there. The uh, trunk mat and everything doesn't have any here, which is always a good thing. And um, yeah, everything's looking pretty detailed up and on point. So let me know in the comments below how you think this uh, detail turned out here. And how dirty would you rate it? Uh, 1 to 10. 10 being the worst. Um, as always, thanks for staying to the end to watch this video and uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I appreciate the support guys thanks until uh, next video stay blessed